Thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee members. I realize I spoke briefly last meeting, and I just want to make a few comments. Uh, as I told you, I was president of the ISD school board for about 20 years, deeply involved in vocational education. I've spent many hours walking the hallways of our voc ed program and being impressed by it. In, since the last meeting, I spoke with our ISD superintendent, Mr. Stephen Zott, and he had some very relevant comments that I think counteract some of the testimony today. His argument is, instead of us being mesmerized by test results and mesmerized by being the toughest standards in the country, with being only one of two that has this Algebra two requirement, he suggested we need to think directly about the students. What are we trying to achieve in educating these students? What we're trying to achieve is to get them to think about problem solving, about collaboration, about critical thinking. And there is no reason why you can't learn those skills equally well or better if you are studying auto mechanics or nursing or any other vocational program. We need to recognize that not every student fits into the exact same square peg. We have different students with different abilities. I was fortunate. I went to the University of Michigan Law School. My academic background worked out well for me. My son is the opposite. He can fix things, which I can't. He can look at a problem and solve it mechanically. He opted not for college for a while. Then he got his associates. Then he became a vocational teacher, got his bachelor's. He's getting his master's at Michigan State. I say that because there are different routes to achieve what we want to achieve in this state, which are high performance and successful students who make a good living. So I would urge you, not just my bill, which is the statistics bill, but all these bills will enhance vocational education and give our students opportunities they are not receiving under the current system. Thank you.